Ever sword fight in lingerie? No? Well, squeeze into those thigh highs. I'm the flannel fox, Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Betic Stella, the Umbral Star. Waking up with amnesia, you play as Praetor, a hero from the Holy Grail War who teams up with one of three different companions, depending on your playthrough, as you fight to regain your kingdom known as the Seraph and try to rebuild your memory. While at the same time building a relationship with said companion through a whole bunch of conversation? Yes, you will do a lot of reading throughout Fate Stella's campaign. And once I committed to the story, I didn't want to skip any of the dialogue, which honestly was half my playtime. Not that this is a bad thing being half let's fight synthetic warriors from taking over humanity and half dating sim. Overall, the story is innocently entertaining. I did have to fight the urge to skip through the dialogue from time to time, but with a gripping cliffhanger, I'm curious to see where the story goes in the next installment. The most consuming side of Fate Stella is the combat, and never having played a Dynasty Warrior-esque game, I was not sure what I was in for. Each stage is a battlefield divided into sectors, with a number of sub-bosses per sector called aggressors that you must beat in order to capture it. The objective being to capture all the sectors, which is not a cakewalk, because enemies invade captured sectors throughout each stage, forcing you to double jump warp glide across the map to stop them. The movement throughout each stage feels great. It's exciting to smash a mini-boss, then glide at warp speed to a UFO spitting enemy warriors, only to smash it to the ground, light yourself on fire, and decimate your foe. With each enemy you defeat, you gain XP and level up throughout the stages. You have special install skills that give you passive abilities, or mystic codes, which are abilities that you can use during combat. While they don't change the tide of battle too much, it's fun to see what you obtain from stage to stage. Adding fire damage to my saber sword certainly lit up the competition. Fatic Stella is a nice balance between a sexy sci-fi epic and a hack and slash adventure. Despite the sometimes drawn out story sections, it plays great, looks great, and makes a great addition to your Switch library. That's why I'm giving Fatic Stella a 7.5 out of 10. If you like this video review, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter, both at The Flannel Fox.